I would probably say that this year has been the, the most difficult one for me so far. Every other year that I've played professionally, I've never come to the point when I've considered quitting and I've always just just had the motivation to keep going no matter what, regardless of, of us having success or not. Former Kings of Europe Fnatic have made their way through planes to make a crash landing here at Worlds. Reckless knows to hold up the loves, the hot side as well. He knows how to make the crowd Chico, happy. Yeah, well, one entire split, uh, but he... Oh, that. He's Ooh, right. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to throw your uh, jungle predictions under the bus. Lane swaps, we did. Say it in champ select as a possibility. Here we go. Gigabyte Marine's going to do this again. Bring it back. To heal Ignite. You're walking towards the Lulu. She doesn't need to flash in that situation at all. Just pushing forward. Just punch comes in. Parallel oh, six. Five minutes into the game. Right now, talk about power leveling there for Levi. He's able to get it off, but Caps wants to answer again. I don't know if they can push the minion wave. Oh, minion has to wait for it. Wall. Trying to make his way out. Tong comes out, but Reckless is still free hitting. Soaz comes in. Finally, level two. That's enough. Caps gets a kill for himself. Welcome oh, to Will. Levi's going. He's going to grab another one. He might be able to take down Reckless too. He's pushing forward. Oh, That's the double for the Nocturne. It's a legendary 11 kill. Tristana and Optimus takes the penta. Gigabyte Marines are going to take. What a performance from the Gigabyte <laughs> Marines from the beginning of the game to the very end they had a plan. Woo. Yeah, you said it, Kobe. Woo. An insanely high-paced game, and it's been breakneck pace in our first three. Fnatic lost I can the guarantee thumping. European fans are upset, Rusty. That's about all I can guarantee yeah. at this stage, but... I wanted everyone to be on their toes from the get-go because I knew that every game, every second of the game would, would change everything, you know what I mean? It's just a very different story here with only six games and each game maybe being the deciding factor. So here's the four-man dive from Fnatic Ole. Going to turn to the tornado. Did he get the direction right? No, Bruxa just to be able to get in there. The dive is good. And first one to Reckless Jez continue on that. Reckless actually again ambushed Jess is flashed in for that one. Tornado might be enough. Brooks back in. Reckless gets killed number two. Fanatic so ready for this. Sort of IS, but regardless of how he split it, he's very strong as Reckless. Moves in the mid lane. Pobelsa insta flashes in a smoothie. Made him make it out alive. Reckless dives under the turret for a kill. Yeah, you hold on to that ultimate a little bit. Oh, ooh, look at Reckless. Look at Reckless. Oh, found Flame. Stuck all the way back around Flame. He's to go a little bit further forward. Has now finally found him. But Reckless just going to force the flash. He has his. He does follow through. Flame wants to knock him back. But that is not enough. Reckless gets the kill. He's coming around the corner on the bottom side. Oh, no, Caps. He's got nothing left. No ult. No zone. Dead flash. But Flame opens up. 1v2. Flashes in. Monsu, not enough. Cody now there with the ult. He's great. Props up. Push through so many rocks. And that is not going to be enough to get the kill Reckless. there, but Caps does go down. Reckless again, looking for the flank on the Pobelta, takes him down. Maybe with uh, 45 Ooh. seconds on Baron. Oh, Pobelta saw him there, the ultimate though. He's the flash, Reckless, flash is in Oh no, he does get knocked up. Cody's done, having to take him down again. He gets out of the way with the rest of Fnatic. They're in that's trouble. It. Jesus, that's the Cody's son. Grip mid, grip mid. Yeah, okay. let's grip mid. <laughs> yeah, Dragon 20. Oh. Oh. I had to flash. Oh, he's hey, going to hey, 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 go, 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 I don't think they can do this. It's Smithy interrupts and it's him They're going to lose. They're going to lose. Fnatic, they can't commit to this. IMT, they're going to win the game. The turrets are exposed. This could be bad news. The turrets are going to fall. IMT force Fnatic out and they win another slobber knocker. Reckless flashes forward to get the execution. But Sonya is available for Pobelter. And Cody Sun answers, defending his mid laner. That one play at the very end. Reckless has to, he can feel the weight on him now. He knew he made a mistake.
Well, I hate to say I told you so, but unfortunately that game, Fnatic died by Reckless. A very small mistake, but a game costing one, and Reckless, head in hands. He breathes a big sigh out. That was a tough loss for Fnatic. I think I was leading the team in terms of drafts, leading the team in terms of shot calling, and leading the team in terms of being the carry. I thought I was doing pretty much everything that was possibly able to be done. This game for Fnatic lives and dies by the way Reckless plays it. When it ended up the way it did, and when it after 50 minutes just all kind of crashed and burned because of a decision I made or a mistake I made, I was trying harder than ever before to win my team the game. But it backfired in a way I've, I've never experienced. And I shouldn't have taken as much responsibility as I did. But in the moment, it felt like the right thing to do. And it might have been the, the game-winning play. So I think if I had to do it all over again, I would have still taken the responsibility and I would have still made the decisions that I made. Obviously, I could have played some situations differently, like the Pobelter one in particular. But I think if I had to do it all over again, I would have probably done it the same way. For physical damage, Gila in the top lane. Four we could see this actually locked in here. It's a dog champ for sure. But there was an oh. in. It's locked in. Okay, we see this played once in the LCK promotion tournament by Ever8 winners. They ran Nasus into Maokai. You can free farm in the lane. I think the first kill, the latest first blood thus far. Prey taking down Caps as well. Longju cutting through the net. He has to fight Khan, and Khan beats 80 carries. This is so solid for the Nasus. It beats some Maokai. Tanks too. Oh, that's gotta hurt for Soaz. Another kill drop for the Nasus, but a fight is breaking out in the mid lane. Longju stalling out Fnatic once again. Ayers everywhere on the map, and they also still have that Galio up. They haven't needed to use it much. Backing off, Caps getting caught out. Even the tanks are not have enough damage to take down the Syndra. Wins of War ticking. Prey actually going to grab that one. Longju are just playing with their food. 7k gold lead, 20 minutes into the game. Nothing for Fnatic on the verge of getting perfect game. And that's the really worrying thing to say. 3-0 into a perfect oh, game. So has so to dead. Chains of Corruption landing for Prey. He may have missed one, but it's every other one has connected thus far. We can see the 1v1 replay in the picture-in-picture. Important picture. to remember how we got here, because that is a Rift Herald in the middle of Fnatic's base at 20 minutes. Khan can cut through these towers in an instant. Fnatic are out of options. They got one last chance, one opportunity to try to seize a fight, but there is nothing in their wheelhouse. There is nothing in the toolkit. All they see is Nasus in front of them. This game is the story of Khan farming it up and bringing it home. And we get to see a dancing Rift Herald in professional play. It only dances if it takes down the Nexus. The game was so fast, so fast we don't even have a replay for you. Instead, we have a damage graph. Just so you could take a look at how lopsided this all was and how much work everyone did in this game. After playing the first three games, I feel like I have a very different mentality. It's very hard to focus on what's next. But I know that is a necessity because I know that we have already let all of our fans down and that we've let Europe down. And I know that I've let my teammates down. So the only way to really pay them back is to do it all over again, but better. Going 0-3, there, um, there are chances that we don't make it out even if we were to win all of our games. So it definitely feels tough. It feels like I've changed in just a couple of days, but I haven't given up. Signature picks across the top and the bottom of the Caps gets the first kill. He's on a spree for himself. Reckless stops to grab the red buff. His ulti is now down. Pretty healthy. Up. Comes across in a two. Looking for Khan. He's going to kite away. Stays up for now. Pray. But the lead gets the Hurricane on. He wants them all. He's got one so far. Jess is next up for the block. The flash forward. A double kill so far for Prey. Third one on the meter. Looking for Caps. He's going to be beating. He's chasing him down. Gets revenge for the laning phase. And Prey can't quite kite it away. But two kills for Soaz. Fight about enough time. Brox is staying alive, but here comes Connie. Wants this one. Does the damage exist? He's got ulti. This could be a kill for Brox. Gets knocked back. Pops. Yo, does he have the damage? No, he doesn't. 
The ace comes through, two members alive on the Kog'Maw, in and out, in and out. Will win Long Shu the game. It looks like a 32 minute victory is still gonna be a pretty fast one for World 2017 standards. 4-0, the record for Long Shu. Not secure top bet yet, but dangerously close. They go for front lane because they have the damage of it. Will so has fall flame. Rooted in the trip, but he pops the stone plate, staying alive a little bit longer. A big three man shot right there. Pulling back into the flame, they get the first kill. It's reckless. Getting that one a trade as one more comes in. It's the bot lane, the support going down. 3v4, Immortals plus to run away, but Fnatic, they want this one. The chase forward on Pumble, they're not quite the blade color range and just barely missing onto that Miami. There's still more to be done. They look for the kill. Reckless gonna come in and Brox to get the kill spread on that one. And the flash bar Cody! Oh. The insect but betrays his teammate! And it's gonna be the ace for Fnatic! Cody Sun loses his mind by flashing into an entire team at the end. The damage falls are must go big. Shockwave can just reckless. Now what are the next they're going? Do they have the damage up? But the hits are coming in. Is it gonna be the game? Fnatic! Oh. Look at knock him down! So Will it's... they get so it? He's trying to get it the game! Hit Nexus, everyone hit Nexus. Nexus, Nexus. Everyone hit Nexus. Hit Nexus! Hit Nexus! Hit the Nexus! Palemon, hit the Nexus! Oh, no, no, no. Yes, man! Yes, man! Not it! Not it! And for the knockdown of Mortals! After the tragedy of 2014 for Reckless not killing the Nexus against OMG, Soaz makes it work with his dying breath! We said they needed strength of conviction. We said they stood up to Longju. Did they win? No. But did they capitulate? No as well. Here, after one passage of play, they take all the variables in. They feel like this is the only time they can close out the game and buy a hair. Okay. Well, it's Fnatic going to pull it. First, they group Polymorph there onto Soaz, but again, still happy to take the turret up. It goes down. Archie gets stunned. But Soaz is just trying to keep everyone away. Wild Growth already burst. Huge double turn there. Massive team fight start there for Jezus and Fnatic. Sweet forward. Broxa gets the kill on the cane and everybody's flashed in. Archie, the only one left as Broxa finds the final execute with the ulti. And Fnatic, they needed to win and they have done it. Now their fate will be in the hands of Longju Gaming versus Immortals. Coming up next. Fnatic needed Longju to beat the Gigabyte Marines. They now need Longju to do the same. Okay. The winner of this game will, of course, advance to play against the Gigabyte Marines. The winner of that moves on to the quarterfinals. Lastly, important to note, nobody has ever qualified for quarterfinals after starting the tournament 03 in week one. The caps is not enough damage as Soas again moves back through. Reckless getting aggressive, jumps forward towards the waters, and Soas just eats away, gets the kill. Cody caught by a rupture. That's gonna be it. Fnatic push through, take down the Nexus, and look to make world's history as they go up against once more the Gigabyte Marine. Look at the smiles on Fnatic faces. They defy expectations. They're gonna take down Immortals and keep their quarterfinal hopes alive. Only one left there is the Nexus goes down, Immortals will be the Jew to the... Nice guys, one more game, one more game. Archie's still here, Optimus can find a very crucial shockwave at Archie, and he's oh, just oh. gonna leave him away. Yeah, can we yeah double mountain as well, buddy. Yeah, double mountain. Can we? I will, I will. I think we just hold this. Can you finish just two? I will still Let me take that. Optimus coming, so John is here, so John is here. Can we turn? She's really low though, like really 1 HP. Yeah, I can't hold. She dies your ult, I think. Burst, 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 burst! Nice. So the John is very low. Oriana is really low as well in the back. I don't know if she has flash. You think you got her though? Nice, 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 nice. guys. Nice, nice guys. Drake 40, Drake 40, Drake 40. First, running fast. Ultimate action trying to bait them in. Reckless, a little too far forward, but Saya taking the damage. Oh, they barely get, get it. Out. Does it oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. face up. Still going for it. So it's Mega needs to avoid it, but he got the double kill. No way. Still fighting him, but Dodge with the Mega. Caps. Five minutes in here. Shockwave. No. Missed. Oh, no. Fnatic. Inching closer as Optimus getting it taken down by the veteran. Super minions in the mid wave after that, after the Elder Drake steal, after No Way killing Reckless. It looks like Fnatic will be going to the quarterfinals. It's not an ace just yet, but Soaz will ensure it. Over. We have to see it, All though. Right. They're very close. Still going in again. Say it's Soaz. No but the Nexus is open. No Way makes his way back in, but he's not going to die. Captain the clutch play, and Fnatic through the unthinkable and make their way to the quarterfinals. Finals. So close, Optimus forced the shockwave to wave it. Has to go in, and there it is! Oh, Fnatic are ecstatic. What a story. Zero and four. Remember, they were zero three last week, and they lost their first game of week two.
through, but from there, win four games in a row. We saw Reckless earlier, stone-faced after the game, started to slip away, but it slipped and slid so many different times. Very different emotions from the Fnatic members now than at any moment last week. And Let alone in 04. Not only did Fnatic have to loot to win four games in a row to do this, they also needed help from other places. An absolutely miraculous run. A Cinderella story for Fnatic. And you can see on the other side, of course, defeat in the face of Gigabyte Marie. It's certainly have to be so proud for their first ever appearance at Worlds, just how well they played. But at the end of the day, we have two die breaks. There can only be one winner, and that winner is Fnatic.